Hi Scorpio, this is Sean from Charlie's Angel Tarot uh, on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram and Twitter and welcome back to the channel if you're a Cyber Angel and thank you very much for your loyalty and all your likes and shares and if you're new, you've just landed on this channel, welcome and I hope you enjoy the reading and please subscribe and hit the bell on all then you'll be notified when I go live I go live on Monday Wednesday and Friday and I give away free cards and I also answer questions that are supported by a donation which is a super chat or a super sticker you if you would like to have an extended reading then the information on how you can get into contact with me is below in the description box and also um, to um, the address of the website or in the top right hand corner in that white circle with the eye the eye for information okay now there is some news i'm going to restart the competition but on a special page on Facebook so if you are busy with a vision board and you did join the competition then uh, and you would like to continue with that then please join me on that page I will let you know when the page is up and running in the community sector and on Facebook Charlie's Angel Tarot Unfortunately, I didn't uh, know that anybody was bu busy with a visionary board, but there were a couple of people that mentioned, ah, is the competition broken off or cancelled? Yes, but I'm going to do a restart. So if you want to win the Shadowlands or the Vice Versa deck or a free reading in third position, then please join me on Facebook on the special page. Wait until the page is out, though. It will be coming up in shortly okay now this is your reading for the 20th to the 26th of July 2020 and here we go I do also put out notifications what time I go out on Facebook Instagram and community tab on YouTube you first of all Scorpio you have the nine of Pentacles the nine of Pentacles an ending uh, of a face and a new beginning of a more luxurious face perhaps you might have got the job if you didn't have a job you might have got a promotion perhaps you might have struck it lucky in the lottery uh, or in on with a scratch card wow uh, but money is coming towards you there is a better face coming towards you with the nine of coins and to me the nine of coins is also really a wish card but of course who doesn't want or wish for money to be able to support you know it could be just wishing that you had enough money to buy a car or to buy um, a new couch or to buy that house we all aim for something we all have dreams well with this extra bit of money uh, you will be able to fulfill a wish perhaps I know not all wishes are material but um, it is coming towards you better times okay because there will where there is an ending there is a beginning you have the five of cups on Wednesday or around Wednesday it, you could already be feeling this on Tuesday and it might go into Thursday you've got the five of cups you might feel a little bit depressed or down um, because you are thinking about the past or looking back um, at the past well the past is the past you can't change it you can only learn from it so stand in your strength and look at the two cups that you have never look at what you don't have only if you want to um, get it back in a better way let's say you lost a job and you really like let's say you lost a job and you were a hairdresser or a nurse and you lost a job and you would love to do the same job but even better in the next time around well the world is your oyster so take these two cups and go and multiply these cups to the ten of cups okay you can change the present and you can change the future just remember that you are the one that makes the choice and decisions 
the past will never come back and if it does it is totally different it, the same thing never comes back around okay now talking about the wish you've got the star so definitely that like I said in the beginning of the week there could be a wish going in fulfillment because this does mean to me also a, a, some kind of wish is coming to fulfillment now if your wish is not materialistic like I would like to have a baby or I would like to have a partner if you're not hooked up then today your wish might come true okay you might meet your soulmate and it could be Aquarius as the star represents Aquarius that is on Friday at the weekend the world is your oyster yes you've got the world card and like I said you have the world in your hands something is definitely coming full circle okay what goes up must go down what goes round comes round that's why this is also my karma card if you've done good or if you've done bad it will come back to you threefold the same if somebody else has done you wrong they will get it back threefold also if they've done you good okay that is a beautiful card and the world is your oyster because you can decide what you want to do, where you're going to do it, um, when you're going to do it, there you go. Now, you might be going on holiday, you might be going, uh, to, you might be moving home, especially if the money is coming in. Perhaps you might be moving from one job to another job. Moving, that's the word here I'm looking for because that is what I am hearing you might get that promotion there you go you might be going up the next level okay your relationship might go up a next level rather private it could be private or in business Wow you might find out that you are pregnant that's the next stage in your relationship you might be hooked up you might be married you might have that house and now it's the next step we want to a family we would love to have a family so that could be the next step and it could happen in the weekend what a beautiful reading so you are moving up you are making the decision to go for what you want your wish your goal that will bring in money and in rich life okay now you've got number 26 and 2 and 6 is 8 and that is the money house and the power house you will be in your power and you've got the hummingbird now the hummingbird loves nectar sweet nectar is sweet that is honey to um, the hummingbird look at your honey beautiful honey is coming into your life despite being so little hummingbirds are great journeyers you're going might be going on a journey could be physically but it could also be mental migrating between North and Central or South America to feed from summer nectar the gentle creature can be fiercely territorial to protect its home hummingbird teaches us to be gentle to ourselves and protect our personal space hummingbirds invites you to embark on your epic quest there you go moving on forget about the past letting go your epic quest is your wish bypass the dung pile of old pain and hurts head for the flowers and learn to trust the calling you hear ever so softly she's in the garden go into nature 
the buzzing you feel is the sound of your hummingbird's wings preparing you to say yes to a new adventure. This is not the time to linger on what has gone wrong, but to trust in the rightness of the moment and take bold action. Trust that success is assured, even if you must face tests and challenges to reach your destination. Know that all will be well, because the all is in the small. So appreciate the small things, okay? Don't look at what you don't have, look at what you do have and multiply it. Be grateful and thankful. Boom! And wow! The angels are giving you a definite answer here. It's up to you to take the steps and not to linger in the past. The richness is around you. The world is your oyster beautiful message Scorpio. I hope you have enjoyed this reading and please share and like and I hope to see you in the life. Take care and have a beautiful week and stay safe and be bright. Thank you for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it and remember have a wonderful day and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell on all and I'll see you in the life, Monday, Wednesday or Friday. Ciao, ciao.